Autobots Transform. What's up, Transformer family? Welcome to George Reviews. I'm the 80s Transformer fan, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take a look at this little third party cassette figure from iGear. And you know, I always say every toy has a story. So, in the comments to one of my Soundwave reviews, someone said a third party should have made this little scout cassette from the episode The Problem with Prime. Prime problem, I can't remember which way you say it. And um, on that episode, Soundwave ejected a cassette drone that went into the crevice and tested the Colonian crystals and wound up blowing up. And iGear actually gave us that figure. I don't think it's an official figure of this toy uh, out there anywhere, but I do know another third party makes it. I can't remember the other third party, but there were two of them at the time, and I chose to go with this one. And anyway, this is from iGear. Here's the packaging. This is the bottom of the packaging. It says iGear right there. Collection Auto Scout Cassette. Warren Trucker Hazard. Um, recommended for ages 18 and up. So it's an adult collectible. And this was from back in 2009. All rights reserved. Can you reserve rights for um, a figure made from another company's property? And, and you can see the box is made to look like Soundwave. Mine has suffered some damage over the years. This little corner is gone. I don't remember how it happened. But the box is made to look like Soundwave. Anyway, break this thing open. Open the side, slide it out, and it is packaged with three Energon cubes and three different Colonian crystals still on the sprue. Even though the crystals are like multicolored, sort of like the Energon from the episode, uh, not the solid uh, Energon, but you know, like the multi rainbow colored glowing Energon. And he also has the cassette that most Japanese tapes for the official figures come in. And here is the Auto Scout itself. And here, the hard Energon cubes just fell out, and they are super hard. A little bit of translucent going on. They still smell super rubbery, super brand new. I don't know if you can smell it, but I can smell it from here. <sighs> new plastic. So here are those Energon cubes. The Colonian, Colonian crystals, if I'm saying that right. Colonian crystals, Colonian crystals from the episode you're meant to take these off the sprue. I, just, I never have um, probably lose it if I did and here is the auto scout cassette that Soundwave ejected I'm transforming already and you can see it the cassette disguise right here the tape inside is supposed to be turning it's more tape on this side and this side the little gears that turn it you can see it on both sides of the cassette and here it is compared to a masterpiece cassette, cassette actually feels a little bit bigger than the masterpiece cassette just a little bit it's not quite as thick take a look at them side by side and here it is next to a standard generation one cassette just having a look at these side by side by side this one keeps one that already transformed. So I brought those out just to check those out. And before I roll on, I'm going to bring in closer G1 sound. This is Walmart's reissue. And I'm going to try to get it into his chest if I can. If you smush it, it will go. So you can display it in there, but just popping open, that's what you're going to get. And if you swing it around upside down, again, it's coming loose and it'll go. But the, oh, that time it popped out, but you got to get in there just right. But these wheels right here are catching this way. Oh, this is jumping out now. Now it's working. So it can work if you get it to work properly, if you work with it properly. Now let's check it out with the masterpiece figure. If we can get it inside there, it goes inside there with no problem. Oh, but not quite coming out with no problem. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Maybe part of the problem that it's like it's loose. And it's not a complete shape fit as it is from the bottom to the top. It's like skinnier at the top. Where it transforms them, turn it upside down. 
See if that helps. Nope, it's still jamming up a little bit, but it will go into the chest of these figures. We're just not a great fit. Okay, everybody, so I went and got my reissue double cassette door holding sound wave. And I'm going to try this. It already uh, has laser beak in the front. But this little black part right here is pretty much a problem on most of them. So you kind of have to turn it upside down to get it to go in. And it still doesn't want to go. You, you kind of have to like squish it in. And then it'll fit. And then when you open it, it, it gets stuck again. But with, with this version, you could take out the first cassette because of the way it's designed. Put this one in the front. And it pretty much holds it in place for you. Add the second cassette behind it. And it works. Only because the front clear piece is containing the cassette from separating. I guess if it was a tighter fitting cassette, it would go on all these guys with no problem, but you can get this to set into Soundwave's chest. So it can be done, but I, I think just because there's so many moving parts that really don't snap together, that it's, it's just a little bit of a tight fit. Success, Megatron. Yes, Soundwave. Must, that must be the source of the rare energy detected by our Earth scanners. Then let's get to its core. The auto scout he ejected into the crevice to transform this thing. You lift this part up, you pull this little sensor eye camera thing out. Um, you slot these legs out to the side, which is a little bit tricky because the plastic is good, but the um, I don't know the way it's held together is not that good. If you can see it, you understand what I'm talking about. Like these are supposed to slot out straight to the side like that. And then this piece comes down like this, revealing this wheel right here. And wait, let's get out this little arm that it used to grab onto the crystal. Comes out like this. All right now, I'll bring this little thing out. And here you have the auto scout that he ejected into the crevice. Move some of this junk. It's supposed to roll, but these little wheels don't roll that good. And this one has sunken in there, I guess, maybe because I was jamming it into the tape deck. But even if you roll it with your hand, it's a real tight roll. I never really played with it, so I guess you might be able to loosen it up and have it roll better, but it's supposed to roll. Anyway, Sanway ejected it in the cartoon. It fell on its side and transformed and stood up and rolled into the crevice. I might as well just get one of these things off all this time. Well, it's been 10 years. <laughs> so I'll take uh, one of the crystals off. Yeah, and it could have done better. It could have done it in that color or something because, like, they were glowing. They weren't just this blue at all. And it kind of just slots in there. It doesn't hold it really securely. Uh, if you can turn it a little bit, but it holds it. I guess good enough, but when he grabbed it, or when the cassette grabbed it on the episode, it exploded and they knew not to get the crystals and they tried to trick Optimus Prime and the Autobots and go into the crevice. Then Megatron cloned Optimus Prime, made a fake one, made a fake star screen. Pretty cool episode too. And um tried to lead the Autobots into the crevice and have them explode and Wind Charger fell in there, transformed, landed on his tires and insulated him. Uh, little science tip I guess and he didn't explode inside the tape right here it says if you can see it right in there it says I gear 2009 and this thing later on it was made by KFC toys for the masterpiece version and uh, I didn't get that version I don't know why I didn't get that version but um I didn't grab it and another third party made this version for the G1 so I think it's, it's at least three versions of this auto scout out there this little part sliding in. This is the, the difficult part back here because these two sides slot out. And it's not um 
in there very securely. I don't know. It's not. It's not strong. The hinge isn't strong, so it's hard sliding these two pieces out. So here is the auto cass auto cassette scout for anybody who is interested in it. Just one more cassette for your G1 Soundwave masterpiece Soundwave reissue Soundwave. He sort of kind of fits into the chest of all of them. So thank you for watching George Reviews. I'm an 80s Transformer fan. You just watched a review where every toy has a story.